is Eva Heard, welcome back to Minecraft Legends. Today, we have a lot of things we need to get done. First off, we need to go and save the zombies and the zombie the homestead. The zombies are defenseless against the cruelty of the piglins. Please, you must help them. And that's something I wanna do pretty soon. On top of that, after we get the zombies on our side, we probably wanna get the Horde of the Spore, the first little camp there figured out. We also have to help out this village that got taken this over by piglins. by the piglin attack in the night. They could use some help rebuilding their fountain. Will do. So there's a lot to get to, a lot to figure out, but I guess for right now, what we should probably do is just go to our different camps, if we can, um, use our well houses, just to build up whatever troops are available around there. Let's let's just try to gather some of them up so that we don't have to do it manually. Um, piglins are planning something, but where? It doesn't really tell me just yet, but I guess it'll maybe it'll enlighten us soon enough. But uh, for right now, yeah, we'll just go over to here is our goal, just to get some extra troops from this camp and the other one. And then also while we're running by, you know the deal, we just need to get some of this stuff set up. Always good to have some of it. And yeah, we'll just make our way over to the skeletons and, and get a little bit of a collection going on. Okay, we're at the skeleton village and you can see some of these buildings are rebuilt because of our little carpentry thing. Because of that, definitely seems like more skeletons are around. So that's great. I don't know if we can actually make it so that there's like more skeleton buildings, but Whoa, they're getting launched around there. We have 13 of them now. So if I were to go over to this well house, I haven't built the carpentry buildings here. So I think that's just something we'll work on. I don't know if we'll actually be able to get too many creepers out of it because of that, but that would be right there. So in this direction, I mean, I guess it shows us on the map there, but now we'll just get over. Basically do the same thing. So I need, what is it? The carpenter hat. What do I miss for that? I don't have enough wood. Okay, well that's something we can actually solve pretty quickly. If I just go over here, I'm a little low on wood at the moment, we should probably go to some villages. Oh no, I'm taking small damage or something. I'm in the spikes, <laughs> whoops. I really does damage down really fast. And then I guess I will, I might be out of the builders. Or no, maybe there just wasn't anything over there. So that should be enough for us to build this, right? Yep, okay. So that's good. So maybe right about, here? I guess I'll, I'll do it here. Hey, do I have enough for another one? Not really. That's okay. Uh, we can always get some more. But that's basically the kind of things we need to work on. All of our OLEs are working pretty hard at the moment, so let's just hope that we can get another one soon. What would we need for it? Just more stone. So as soon as more OLEs are available, we'll get more stone. Just like this, perfect. Just try to help out these buildings a little bit. Cause right now I'm not seeing too many creepers. I think that's simply because these areas just need to be rebuilt. Okay, we still need a little bit more. Okay, so we'll get another one of these built right there. I'm not seeing any creepers around, but this should help replenish these buildings and I think bring some of them back. So with that dealt with, I guess we just have to go and help out the zombies over here, right? So maybe we'll go to the villages first because if we do need more resources, the chests should have us have you know some for us. That'd be good. Lots of preparation we have to do, but we're doing a good job. That is a ton, so yeah, we're fine. I think we'll be a-okay with maybe just going to this village and then making our way over to the zombie homestead. We'll probably want to make another tower a little bit closer. I don't know if we even have the prismarine to do that quite yet. So we'll have to wait and see, but for right now, we're just gonna run over here, open this chest up, and we get ourselves a bunch more. So we're maxed out our stone and wood, as well as a couple of other things. So really, really cool. As we're running through this, there'll be coal in this area and then redstone in this one. So I'm just gonna mark this on the map and we're gonna get going. So where was it exactly? I think over here. So as we're doing all that, we don't really need any stone or wood, but if we see things like is this coal? This is, but our, oh, we're maxed out on coal, so I guess we don't need to do that too much. Never mind. The redstone, though, that'll be in the next biome over is definitely something we need to focus on, but is this iron? It is iron, okay. Iron I could use a little bit more of, so we can just grab as much of that as possible. And if there are some other mobs to grab, like these guys over here, I definitely want to recruit whoever. Oh, there's like big piles of sticky tar here. That's not so good. But I do see some, some guys stuck in there. You want, want me to help you out? There you go. The water is like reflecting the sun right now. It's very pretty. This game has been super pretty just to run through and visually just looking at everything. I do definitely appreciate it. I wish that we had similar lighting effects in Minecraft. Okay, here's some redstone. 
definitely want to collect that as much as possible. I don't know if I should put two on the, of them on there. I don't know if that makes it any faster, but might as well. I love all the little loot noises. But that should get us getting a lot of redstone, but oh, here we are. We've already reached the zombie village. I like how they're little farmers. Piglins are attacking them. The zombies are overrun. They fought bravely to help you, but they don't know how to handle such an attack. Oh no. So just like with the other two camps, we definitely have to help them out, but whoa! We got some fearsome opponents waiting for us. So we need to spawn some stuff in quickly. I'm going to charge these guys forward. Um, maybe even get some of them to help me out over here so that I can release these zombie villagers and then shortly after we need to get ready with, um, ow, you know what, I might have to before I do that then because they're gonna keep attacking me. Let's just get our basic stuff out for now and maybe some creepers. There we go, there we go. Because as you can see, there is a lot going on over here. They're still fighting over that way. I wanna open up this cage if I can do it without getting hurt though is the thing because I can't just, and okay, now I'm poisoned, so that's the frustrating thing. So I don't know if I can really do that quite yet, but in the meantime, I can fight you guys off so you're not attacking my stuff. I want to spawn in some friends, but I guess I don't really need too much of the cobblestone ones. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. We're getting beat up really quickly, so if we could just get the healers too, and then maybe just send them out that way. There we go. It gets really difficult, really fast. And I'm already dead, because I think I was on fire there. That is sort of ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I, just, I didn't have really the chance to get my troops ready. Because I think we were farther back, but when the cutscene happened, it sort of spawned us in the middle of everything. So that was really unfortunate. I need to run all the way back over there now. So that's definitely maybe a good sign that I should, um, do I have the materials for it? What am I missing? I'm missing the prismarine. So I can't even really do that quite yet, but as soon as I can, I should set up another tower. Okay, we are really far back this time. So if I could just, even if it's just these two, they're pretty important, but look at all of the zombies that are over here that we have not released. So definitely getting them out would be, are you kidding me? It would be helpful if I could just do that without getting hit by stuff, but geez, they do not give you much time to work with. So if I could just get like even a huge army of these guys out, I think that's pretty good. Because all we need to do right now is just, fight the piglins. So I'm charging them forward like this, and then we will, of course, get more friends out here as soon as we can, so. Especially since those ones are good against range. And I'm just gonna try to hide behind the cage as we let these guys go. There we go, awesome. So they're still fighting over there. I need to. The piglins have awoken something dangerous in the zombies. Keep fighting Ooh. and the zombie strength will join yours. That's great, so let's get some of this stuff out too. I think a couple of the cobblestone ones, and the healers. And then this one. Seems like, you know, a random assortment, but I think overall this will definitely help. So, there we go, some of the zombies broke free. I think that's all of them, awesome. So I guess we just got rid of enough piglins there for it to work. That's amazing. Ooh, chase those piglins away. That happened a lot faster than some of the other ones, that's for sure. So, we'll call together whoever we can. The eager to rejoin the fight. Now you can stop the piglins together. Okay, so this is where things can get pretty crazy, but we need to run over there and just try our best to, um, well, you know what I need to do first? I need to build some ramps. I can see that now for sure. Um, so if I could just, whoa, not this. <laughs> that just surprised me. Um, we need to get up here just like this. While that's being built, and now we can climb up and destroy this tower first and foremost. We got some piglins coming in too. Gotta get rid of them, but I'm sure there's some bigger armies maybe back here that we haven't quite gotten to. Oh no, they're still destroying a lot of stuff back here, but if I could just get the numbers on my side, I think that'd be better. So all these zombies over here, they destroyed my spawners again, which sort of feels like, oh, what can I do really? Oh no, the spawners are over here. Okay, those are my old spawners. So luckily they haven't destroyed these ones. Oh no, come on. Uh, spawn in some more. We're on fire right now, so that hurts. We can get some of the healers, that'd be good. And then my spawn army is already full, so we just get all these guys together. It's gonna be 21 units. I just need to rush forward with this. They're trying to destroy my steps, which I don't appreciate, but 
We just gotta keep going. And then over here, I guess I need to get this. I know that there's more under them. But there's not really too much I could do about that at the moment. I mean, this feels like the best idea, right? It's hard to tell. But they're working on that next tower as the rest of the piglins rush in. And then while they're doing all that, I definitely, whoa, whoa, need to go over here, build a new one. Okay, if that works, I'm not gonna complain. There are so many units around, but I think I got all the ones that are mine. And then we might just wanna rush this straight away. If we can get up here and just destroy this nether portal, and then while all of that is happening, we feed some piglins over here really fast. Gotcha. And see if I can do this without getting in trouble. I don't know if I can, but if I could, it could be a big deal. There we go, we got them. And then there's some more zombies over that way. So we're just gonna run over, have them attack this portal, and hope for the best. I see a lot of piglins really trying to put up a fight though. So I need to fight, fight, fight. We're just gonna go for the fast takedown on the nether portal this time. It's already down to 50%. I wanna run down this way because look at this, there is plenty. Oh gosh, they got me with the fire. Those guys are really good at aiming. Ooh. Come on, I just need to wait for the fire to subside and then I should be fine. There we go, cause it's, ah, oh, no, come on, come on, come on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's down to a few percentage, maybe we don't even need it. There we go. Yeah, we did a really good job this time. This is a lot faster than the other two. So we're learning, that's great. And we definitely wanna run around and collect as many of the prismarine as possible because I really need it, so if we see any from any of these buildings that were destroyed, we're just gonna run over and grab but the cutscene. I hope that doesn't eat into our time to collect them. But look at this, we saved the zombies. They're gonna join our squad, our army. Very cool. They seem pretty happy about it. The flame has been lit. You've earned their trust. The zombies will fight with you wherever, whenever. Okay, well that's great. I got plenty more prismarine to collect, but we're up to 110 of them. So whatever, whatever, wherever they were buildings, which I think there's a few more over here too. But they might have disappeared by now. Oh, they're about to disappear. No, see, that's why it can still be good to um just go over there and defeat it yourself than it is to rush in and then try to collect them after. It really depends. I mean, we got most of them, and it didn't cause us too much of a hassle, so that's always good. But um, I might as well collect as much of an army as I can, because we will use them for our next little adventure here. But I'm glad that we made quick work of saving this village this time. Usually it's a lot more complicated than time consuming. So I definitely want to get as many as I can. That's the most I think I can rally up for the time being is 40. But it's cool that there's even more than that, you know? There we go, I wanna try to get this little healing guy, there we go. So we'll be using them pretty soon. I think for right now, we have a lot of wooden stone. If we can create more of the carpenter huts so that this um, village is sort of restoring itself, that would probably be a good idea. So I just need one about there. Maybe one over here, and then maybe a third one. This is a pretty big village area, so I could just place that there. Okay, feeling pretty good with that. So, there's still a lot going on. I think that we could also focus on some of these smaller ones that are around, like the Horde of the Bastion here. So, maybe that'd be a good thing to, to work on, but seeing how we don't have one yet, I would like to get a well house around here. We might have to go out pretty far for it, but that's okay, we'll figure it out. So for this, you know, we just need Prismarine and stuff, but not giving me the option to use it just yet. Oh, this is just the water. Okay, I see. Sort of went the wrong way. There's gotta be a place I can put it. Oh no. Ooh, not good. <laughs> Keep getting caught on fire, poisoned. Okay, I could put it up there. I don't know if that's the best idea, but. Hmm. There's gotta be a good place somewhere. This is a lot of trees in the way. You know what? I'll put it up there. Seems like fun, right? <laughs> I guess nobody else will be able to beat it up from over there either. So, let's just try to get up here then. And we're slowly making our way over. It's a little bit more to the right. Oh, and there's a chest way up there. 
I don't have the beetle mount right now, so actually making those jumps might be a bit challenging, but I might as well try, right? Especially if we could get more prismarine out of it. Okay, well, this is already not going so well. Specific platforming doesn't seem to work for this game. <laughs> I guess I just need to come back with the beetle. That's okay. So we have a huge party here, though, of, of like, you know, 40 units. Let's work on clearing this stuff out and then just go and start attacking some stuff here. So I see focus at target, maybe get some of them to focus on this one, just to spread them out, divide and conquer kind of deal. Um, okay, I want to open this up without getting attacked too much because it's gonna be a bunch of villagers. Definitely want to save them. But it looks like they mostly have broken some stuff over here, so they can all change their attention to this one. The zombies really making some good work happen. Looks like it, they have it broken. Great job, everybody. Let's move over to this now. It's so cool to have a huge army like this. It's so much fun. So that should be beat up in no time, right? Got some more up here. Okay, everybody, come on over before that stuff explodes and focus this down. We still have all 40 of our units here, it seems, so we're destroying things quite quickly. I don't even really see any pick ones around. Some of them are over there attacking the villagers, so I guess that's keeping them busy. And we're just gonna go for each and everything. So while that's happening, I definitely need to run over here and save some more villagers. Open up this cage. Or some of them went into the lava for some reason. Got it. And then this is all broken up, so I just need to rush over here. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Oh no, there's another over there. So maybe I could get you guys to start breaking that one up because these get destroyed super fast. That's the one thing about them, is that they're really not too big of a deal when it comes to things. Our post have destroyed, awesome. And we can use more of our LEs to clear out this area a bit. Wherever I can, whenever I can. There we go. Always super satisfying to do. <laughs> and it just, I don't know how necessary of a thing that is, but it seems to be useful. So I, I might as well do it wherever I can. Um, in the meantime, that, that was just one of them cleared out. We're really getting better at that, making quick work of things. I think we want to basically do the same thing. We want to save this village, right? If we want to do that, let's make sure we have as many of our units around as possible. We're down to 35 now, but I think that's just because we lost some in the lava over here. So if I could just yeah, get some of them back. The 39. Okay, we only lost one though. That's not the end of the world. We'll go back over here. I have enough prismarines maybe for another upgrade if we wanted to. Actually, I should save it so that we can set up another tower maybe around there. Um, So I should though make some markers to take on other Bastion things along the way. If there is any more iron ore deposits around here, I should go for those too. A lot to do, obviously, but uh, willing to work on it and just, you know, keep going. If we could also get some more stone and wood. It seems like I need more wood than stone right now, so I'll just do that. That'll keep them busy. We'll definitely have to upgrade our LA's though. Just the more the merrier. This area is always so pretty. This is one of my favorite parts of the game, is just the lush green forests. Okay, heading up this really quickly. And, okay, here's some iron. All of our LA's are busy, unfortunately. I guess I don't need the iron that bad. We have 183 of it, but I could just wait a moment. Wish I could like cancel out some of the other ones. But it should be soon that they're done, I would think. I don't know, we could always come back. We can get iron from other resources too, just from like going to the chests and things. So we'll leave it, just cause we're busy enough as it is. But oh, there's a bunch of wolves over here too. Okay. And of course we still wanted to do this, the Horde of the Spore over there. So just gotta keep that in mind for later. Uh oh, here we go. Um, it looks like some of these are becoming available again. We have 40 units. That should be enough to fight some stuff. Um, I got all my guys coming over. They're ready to go. Dusk piglins are invading. The piglins are on the move, but where exactly? I guess maybe this one? Hard to see, hard to tell. That's why I do also need to prepare some of the other villages and stuff. But uh, this horde have an upgraded base. Huh, and this seems pretty typical to me, but let's get them to get to destroy that stuff now, and then I want to open up this. Oh, they're getting all the foxes. 
It's so mean, it's so cruel. Leave the foxes alone. Okay, this thing is almost broken. There's not even really any piglins around here, so really not that big of a deal to do. Um, let's rush them over there, and then while that's happening, of course, we'll free our little friends over this way. Got it. Let's send some more over. So apparently they're not all over there. Just wherever there's piglins that we can fight away. That's also good. Okay, I'm in the lava right now. <laughs> not what I wanted. Uh, so these should give us gold. Looking forward to that. I don't really see any piglins around. Okay, there's a couple over here. Really not too many left. So we got one more to deal with right over here. There we go, we got it. And that should break up basically straight away. Alpha's destroyed, glad to see it. So amazing work so far. With that one done, I wanna make my way to this village over here. I think we still have all of our units, so that's good. And I have enough of the allays just to clear out some more of this. I don't know if that really makes much of a difference for stuff that we're already done but you never know. There's a lot of piglins over here. But I think this might be around a good spot to set up. I might wanna do it where there's not as many pigs running around. So like maybe over here. Yeah, over here. We'll set up one of these big towers. I say that and then of course what, what shows up? A big pig. All right. Maybe I'll send them over here. If we could just fight away some piglins. I don't know if there's like a way to clear out this area so less piglins spawn. Not really quite sure if it works that way, but. Go. And. I think we're all right now. I think we can, wait. Get a little bit. I'm only down to 26 units. Now what happened to the rest of them? We're missing out on 10 units somewhere. Are they still back over here? Or maybe they got knocked out. Okay, well there's a few more at least. Now we're back up to 39. That's great. So. Let's follow our markers so that we can save that village. If we could set up some reinforcements there too, that'd probably be a good idea. With that being said, we're definitely gonna need maxed out wood. So there we go, we got that. We'll definitely need that for crafting things to improve the health of villages and stuff. Leave the wolves are alone. Piglins are so awful and mean. All right, so we're going over. This is under piglin control now, so. We'll have to really work if we want to save everybody. So 37 piglins to defeat. That is something we can definitely handle though. So let's send out some army over that way. And now I'm just gonna start slicing and dicing wherever I can. Because the fight begins and it gets pretty crazy. Already down to only 24, 14 piglins. Yeah, it's getting down really, really low really fast. So we can definitely handle it. There's a few more to slice and dice. And there we go, occupation partly cleared. The job isn't quite done, but that certainly helps. So they're all gonna run away. And this is where we can free some villagers. Um, we'll have to build the carpentry thing, and then also some protections around the building would be nice. So we'll do all that just in a moment. We do get more materials for saving them like that. So I just wanna get here. Start getting those kind of things figured out. So maybe another one over that way. And maybe about here. Okay, so while that's happening, I think that hopefully that's enough to heal this. Do I need to do anything for this? I don't think so. I think now it'll just slowly get better, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's at 2% now, so it just takes a lot of time. So in the meantime, if I could just build some other stuff, Occupation cleared. The village has been freed from piglin occupation. Exactly what we want to see. We'll get some of those walls up. Let's see, just like this. And then I will, just to like save on walls a little bit, if I could just make it diagonal. I know it's not perfect, but that's okay. Just so that we can get in and out. I don't know, did I leave a little spot? Uh-oh. There you go, there you go, I fixed that, I fixed that. I might not be the master builder of my dreams, but sometimes we just gotta be quick about things because there's a lot to do in this game and I just don't wanna rush into, or I don't wanna waste any time, so I do rush a little bit. Um, but I'll get this over here. 
there we go. So there should be a wall around this whole thing, and then of course to protect that, we should get some of the, I don't think I have it on my list right now, but the scatter towers are like close range, and those can be pretty nice, so if we could just um, get a couple of those around the entrance like that, I think that'd be a good idea. We've got one right there, another right here, and then another way over this way. For the long range stuff, we'll definitely want these kind, but this is where we have to be careful because we are definitely running out of wood. So, you know what? We should be doing some multitasking. Why don't I get the allies to, you know, sort of stay a bit busy? Maybe have some of them get some stone from somewhere. Not too much of a deposit of stone around here. We got one maybe over here. I don't know, I don't have enough allies for it. That's okay. That's enough so that we can go back to crafting and just get a couple more of the arrow towers. We can keep this village nice and protected. We need to do this for all of them, not just this tower. So like you can see, this guy is gonna be popping up. Not only can I slice and dice him away and use my army to finish him off really quickly, but hopefully the towers will help with them soon enough. Because you know, we have, I think this one's sparkling, that means that this is the next one that's gonna attack. I'm definitely concerned about that, so maybe we should reinforce that village next. That's right next to it. That might be the best play we can make. Okay, we got some stuff happening here. It's feeling a lot safer, so that's always good. Um, but that's all we can really do for now. We should go to some of the different villages and collect whatever's available in the chest for us. All right, well, here we are. So, I think, go over here, open up a chest, and for this one, we get some villager rewards. Some of these are actually looking pretty beat up, so I might just help out with that. And like I said, this is one of the ones I tried to build it around the entire village, thinking that's what I had to do, but it doesn't really seem like it. I think I just need to protect this. So, I should be fine for now. Let's just go to each village that I can. Get some extra materials from them. So we have this one now. I think I need to... And there's more beat-up buildings around here, so once again, if I could just help those out, because I don't really know what these do, but I'm, I'm sure it might actually improve the amount of resources we're getting if these buildings are better. That might be how it works. And then there's one more village over here. Just want to go to the one we're supposed to be fortifying last, so that we have like the max amount of materials we could use for it. Okay, so maybe we were already at this one, because that one didn't give me too much, but that's okay. We were, we were right here, we just need to go this village, we also want to go here next, so there's a lot we're doing. But with this, I'm pretty sure this is the village that's lined up to be attacked next, if I'm not mistaken. So if we could really just max out a lot of our materials, we've got 25 iron there. I want to focus on getting the gates out, so there'll be one over here, and then one over there. And then we create the wall around it, just like we did before. Okay, and I'm just going to lock this up. We really only need two entrances, right? I feel like getting all four of them is a little bit extra. So I'll do that. Then we'll run over to the other side and just do the same thing. Because the doors will lower for us, but not for the piglins. That's sort of the useful thing about it. Got it. I keep on hearing the zombies gurgle and it sounds like a monster's attacking us, but no, they're our friends. Got it, okay, so that's looking nice and protected. Then we focus on these scatter towers wherever we can. Of course, this uses up some coal too, but we have a good chunk of coal, so I think we're fine. Um, and then I'll do maybe one more on this side. So with that figured out, what other kind of like defenses do we have here? You know, we have things like the arrow tower, obviously, but then we also have like Ice Trap, freezes enemies who approach but deals no damage. That could be good for lining up other things. Protector Tower, destroys enemy projectiles in a wide area surrounding the Protector Tower. So things like that might be a good idea too. The Well House we know about, but the Spyglass Overlook increases the firing range of nearby arrow towers, scatter towers, and redstone launchers. Really cool little things there. The Piglins are planning, and they're actually going for that village. Oh no, so maybe we should not worry about this one too much. We should prepare a response for the next village over here. Oh my goodness. I, I'm sure they're going to attack the right when I'm not ready for it. This village tonight, and they are not prepared. Then our hero will build strong walls and towers. The piglins will have their work cut out for them if they come here. 
That is for sure. So we are just going to, just like with the other one, stay as prepared as possible. This is like new music. We just wanna make sure that these piglins have a really hard time if they try to get over here. I don't know what this building is, if it's supposed to be like this. I think it's just destroyed, right? Can I just remove this? There we go. The LA's are gonna get rid of this one because it's sort of in the way. I don't know if I put that there or not. I think I did, but it was just sort of destroyed. Okay, so let's do that then. Um, and as it's being removed, I can switch back over to the walls. There we go. And then same thing over here. Just wall this all off. And we gotta be quick about it. Sorry if I'm rushing a little bit, but I really think we have to. And right there. Okay, everything's walled off. We know that we need to make these towers then. We are running a little low on coal. I wonder if there's anything left in, in the chest here. Uh, oh, did I swap mounts? I think I did. Uh, we'll just get some wooden stone, which is still useful. Got it, okay. So, I'm feeling pretty set up here. I think we want some arrow towers, or yeah, arrow towers. Just wherever we can get them, because these are actually you know, pretty inexpensive compared to most things. So if we could get a lot of them out here, I really don't see the problem with it. The only problem is the builder allies sometimes, you know, need some extra time. We can get that there. Maybe another one over this way. There we go. We have a whole horde of them now. Uh, what does the masonry do again? Masonry is right here. In no, that's the spyglass. Really? Yeah, okay, I see it now. Um, this is the masonry. Permanently turns nearby walls, towers, and gates into stone blocks, which significantly increases durability. That actually sounds amazing. So we should, if we have the materials, we don't have enough iron is the thing. So where can I get iron from really quickly? This village gives me iron. So I might rush back to there and see if there's any extra iron waiting for us in the chest. Um, Cause if we could get to 200 just really fast, it'd be amazing. So back over here, open this chest up. We don't really get any iron from that, no. Okay, so maybe the well house from over this way would have some iron, because I know that this area sometimes has iron. We passed up some of it before, but uh, well, this area specifically has diamonds, so maybe I'd be better going to the well fate. Sorry, I'm very indecisive right now as I try to figure everything out, but it would be in this area out here. I just want to do this stuff before, you know, nighttime falls upon us. So I just wanna rush back out there and see if there's any iron that we can just grab real quick. So I unfortunately could not find any iron. I swear I could never find it right when I need it, but it's okay. We don't have enough for this, but at the least, there might be some other things I can build. Um, oh, there's a protector tower. Uh, let's see. I think I might just wanna go for this and destroy enemy projectiles in a wide area surrounding a protector tower. This might be worth getting. I'm gonna put this over this for now. And I guess it's a wide area over the tower. So I really don't know exactly where we've set something like this up. I guess like right here, uses a lot of coal. But beyond that, oh, there's a little bit of the wall here that we've not cleared out. So let's see with that. Let's make sure that this is nice and snug. Got it. So hopefully that keeps everything protected. I can't stay here forever. I wanted to go and take on the Horde of the Spore now. So I think that's what we're gonna be focusing on in the meantime but we did a good job. I do have 100 Prismarine if I wanted to consider an upgrade. Now might be a good time to do that too, hold on. <laughs> Let's see if there's any upgrades I could actually afford to get that we don't already have. Um, we take a look here. We do have things like, you know, just getting extra alleys, alleys, whatever you call them. Uh, I might wanna do that. Yeah, just right over here. Seems like a pretty simple one. That'll um, use up 50 of our Prismarine. You'll be a better loot player than me in no time. I don't think there's any other things like that that requires just 50. I could do another one, actually. I don't know if that's using up the space a little too much, but I could just try it, you know? Because um, I think that having more LEs is really, really useful. So that's all done there. Let's go here and fight that big horde of things. It might be a little nerve wracking, but you know, we have a pretty strong team. We have 35 units already and it's already on our map. I think we just head over. I definitely need to work on defending this village more, as you can see. I didn't really get the best setup, but that's okay. So we're rushing over. 
We do see any extra materials to collect, we should definitely get them, but I'm actually full when it comes to redstone, so we don't need that one at all. All right. Still don't really know what's with the green stuff. There's anything I can do with that? I haven't discovered it quite yet, but I'm sure sooner or later. But I'm glad that we've been able to save all of the mob villages. Okay, I think, is this it? I think it is, sort of, but also not really. Oh no, that's the smaller one of the Horde of the Sport. We'll do that soon enough, I'm sure. There's plenty of those little ones all over the place. And they're not really that hard to get rid of. Got a big pack of wolves over here. I might take a couple of those guys if they're, well, one to join me, I'm stuck on a lily pad. Here we go, here we go. Traveling across water so far is a little tedious. But this might be a good spot before, oh no, oh, they're already attacking us though. So I don't know if I'll have the chance, but I think if I could you know, get some of those guys out, I would like it. And in the meantime, I need to do something like that. Okay. We're not even quite where we need to be. Okay, here we go, the cutscene's gonna play, but then we're taking this one on, the Horde, the Horde of, the of the Spore. are perhaps what antithesize our overworld the most. They are chaotic, noxious, and without reason. Whoa. No, don't go that way. Oh no. Run, little fox. Oh no. It's so evil. It is going to be particularly unpleasant fighting these piglins. Well then, let's give them an unpleasant fight. Oh, that's max height, okay. Maybe I could put it on top of the mushroom? Maybe that would help? I don't know how else to get up there. Come on, come on. Got the it. piglins never back down. Now they'll fight even harder. There we go, we found a creative solution. If it would work, okay. Come on, come on, right there. We're, we don't have so much time, you know? So let's get out this way, focus those targets, and just do what we can. While all these guys are working, I think we should probably go back out to our spawners. It's a long trip, right? But, you know, I could also make a couple more of these guys if we wanted to. So boom, boom. Call over our friends as much as possible, and then create some new ones. And I probably want to make some healers soon, too. So if I could just, uh, wait, uh, get that. Time is of the essence. Okay, got all that. Gonna call over one more of those guys. Okay, and then we just go back out there. Should be a good plan, right? But as you can see, they're trying to get back out here. Come on, we should be able to get rid of them pretty quickly. And once again, as it's happening, I think we need to just get some of those set up. All right, we're, we're back to it then. A lot of these guys are just sort of hanging out for the time being. Which I don't want, I want to get them all together. Because once they fall off the side, I think they get really confused and we don't want that. Come on, come on, come on. Because they're about to break that tower, that is fantastic. Send everybody to that one now, some more of them might end up falling off. So I'll have to be aware of that. But if I could just uh, craft a little bridge over here. All right, everybody, huge army coming through. Let's get to it. Destroy that one super quick. That really shouldn't take as much time at all. Um, and there's a lot of them over here that we can work on, you know? But also, fight these piglins out of the way, and they immediately should be going to this one. Come on now, break that, and then I guess we will make a ramp from here the horde of the spore to here. Their it's not strength. the most ergonomic one, but that's okay. Uh, After this, oh no. Okay, maybe this is a great chance for us to rethink our strategy here because I don't know if we could get up there very easily. So we're getting over here, sending a big horde over that way. Then we do something like this, perhaps? Got a lot of our units working on it, but those piglins are coming in. They're not happy with us. Okay. Got it. Let's see who out of all this group we can just get to come over here. We're down to 34 now, which isn't the best, but it's okay. And then I wanna build a ramp from here to here. Here we go. I just wish there was a way to make them a little bit more angled. A lot of the time I feel like I just need a diagonal one, but we don't get that. 
Okay, so everybody's gonna focus on that. While they are, if there's any groups of piglins like this I could just deal with, even if I just push them off the side and don't fully defeat them, that can be good. Anything to make sure that they're, they're not attacking your friends. And this thing is almost broken up. There it goes. Great job, everybody. Um, we are going to get over here, and I think we have enough. Enough power here just to focus that. I don't think they can stop us too much. By the time they do, we'll have it mostly destroyed, I think. I might have to now run back, though, and get more spawned in. I say that, but we have 24 out of 24. There's not really too much more I can do in that regard. So maybe I just keep fighting them off while my army works on what they gotta work on here. Because we do have some healers. So if we protect the healers, I feel like, you know, they'll keep everybody else protected in turn. But I guess we'll see if that's the case. Ah, oh, the healer just broke. But that's okay, we're already down to 47%, so we're getting somewhere with it. Come on, come on. One more push and the portal will fall. We're definitely losing some units now, but I think we'll be okay. It's down to 20% and we still have 20 of our golems and the, the zombies here too, so I think we're all right. Down to 10% now, this should definitely be it. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Another group destroyed. That's amazing. Oh, hold on, we're zipping away. Oh no. All right. Oh no, but of course, they're not gonna be after this. Is he taking a hot tub bath? I think he is, he's getting soapy and sudsy. Is it mushrooms? I think they're mushrooms. Huh. He's got an apple in there too? What is going on? Oh no. Whoa, whoa, he ate the piglet? That's horrible! The piglets just want one little mushroom for himself and this guy's eating them all. So selfish. There are many scary pigs that we're gonna have to fight sooner or later. That was the big gluttonous one, I guess. Let's run around and grab as many prismarine as we can from those destroyed buildings. So, oh, and the gold too, that's nice. The devourer has been awakened. Oh. They are slow to act, but their insatiable hunger will get the better of them sooner or later. Ugh, the horde of the spore makes my blocks crawl. They are such a foul breed of piglin. Okay, so that is something we'll have to be aware and careful of is the devourer. So I'm guessing that like with each area comes its own big piglin boss. We got 133 pismarine from that. So that was great, but we you know eliminated some more of their ground. That's always good to see. And it looks like this village is yet to be attacked. So some things are definitely working out in that regard. Um, I definitely lost some of my units are way up there. I think I'm just gonna leave them. We can always recoup some more of them. Uh, at this point, with our extra prismarine, there might be some extra upgrades we can sort of prioritize. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so what haven't we done? We haven't done large flames of creation. So this would add 10 flames. I don't have, I don't even have that many prismarine I can carry at once. So maybe there's something that will improve the amount of prismarine I can hold. Cause I think I can only hold like 200. So the fact that this requires 400 prismarine is a little much. Um, the shared chest is something I really wanted and we have everything for it. So I think I'm just going to put that there and we are going to put it somewhere because I really want to have the shared chest. That way I don't have to travel to each village. There we go. That's going to use up most of my prismarine. Delays will connect all the village chests for you. All right, very useful. We're going to go and experience the benefits of that right now by going back over here and just doing what we can. So open up this chest and inside we get a bunch of stuff, including enough iron to build this masonry, right? I think. I don't think I have it here. So let's go here again and masonry, put it there. So the masonry will work about there. You can sort of see where it covers up and what it doesn't, but it's, it's sort of hard. Uh, but if I do this right there, that's gonna make all these walls into stone walls and that'd be really great. I still don't know why there's like, it looks like there's something here. Like the space says it's occupied, but it's not really. It's very odd. Um, but I guess in the meantime, 
There are gonna be some monsters coming here soon enough. I hope we're prepared for them. I, I don't really know if there's like a timer on when they're gonna show up, but I do just want to be available for when it happens. But we do have over here some spawners, so I might as well add some more. And I should also recall just to make sure that I have everybody here. There you go. Cool. I definitely need a few of these guys. And then some more of them. So we got quite the big army now. 37 units in total. Very cool. So I'm just hoping they show up soon because there's not really too much more for me to do. Except for maybe change my mount. I sort of want to change to the beetle. It's a little bit slower, but I've been needing to climb up on things lately, I feel like. So maybe I will uh, swap mounts really quickly. It'll let me. There it goes. This makes it a little bit easier to get around from time to time. But if we have any extra time, I think it'll just be spent gathering extra materials if I can find any. And hopefully the game will just tell me when the piglins are attacking. It should. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't. That should get us back at the maximum pretty quickly. I just don't see any other resources around here. Where are we at currently? Down here. There should be some redstone around. That's the one where I don't really care too much because I have plenty of that. So if I go back this way. There's supposed to be iron around. I can never find iron for some reason. Oh, and there's some stuff maybe I can clear over here. There you go. I should get that figured out. Because that's across the water here. It doesn't even show that there's water on the map. Weird. Oh, there's a pickle right here. Get rid of them. The village is targeted. This village will be attacked tonight. Build defenses and repel the piglins when night falls. Yep, we're just waiting for nighttime then. And where am I standing right now? Right here. So, still not seeing any iron. There's gotta be around, some around here somewhere. Okay, here we go. I think it's finally happening. The poor villagers are under attack. So we gotta get over there really fast. So we're just gonna make a marker here. Actually, we'll just quick travel to it. I don't know if the masonry has made any of the fences in the stone just yet. Oh no, it is. Slowly but surely. I guess it just takes some time. Um, that's really cool to see. Or maybe it just doesn't quite reach all those. Hard to tell. Um, and I can't quite afford to build another one right now. I don't have enough iron. What do you know? Story of my life. Where are the uh, piglins coming in at? Is the question now. Because we have six minutes to survive. This is the most powerful we've ever had a town but it seems like they're already rushing in over this way. So we just want to send out whatever units we can to fight, fight, fight. And let's take out whatever piglins we can find for five full minutes, actually six full minutes, really. We're gonna be keeping real busy here. Okay, so wherever I see them, I guess I just have to, you know, send out a couple of them because I can send out one or two at a time. Seems like there's more coming out over this way, so we'll just charge everybody. More piglins approaching. Oh no. But so far I think our defenses are holding up pretty well, right? I sure hope so. And we could always build more. Now this only requires wood and iron or wood and stone, so pretty affordable to do that kind of stuff. Okay. We gotta get whoever we can. There's a lot of guys just hanging out right now, so if they could just go over here and fight, it's probably pretty good. There we go. Now we're working on it more. And is the timer going down while that's all happening? I think it is. Like if I leave that area, will the timer still go down? I think the answer is yes, yeah, so. And I think we need to fight these things. I really don't know if there'll be a situation where our defenses are so strong, where we don't even need to be there to defend against it. I think that is always the requirement is that we're a part of it, but there's a lot going on over here. So if we could just brush over some extra units everywhere. And that's why I wish there was sort of a stand your ground option for our units. Like there's a charge and then there's a um, focus target. More piglins. But those can be pretty different, you know? I wish that there was a way to get specific targets to be like, okay, you guys stand here and just attack anything that comes near. And maybe that's what focus targets really supposed to be more like, but it doesn't really seem like it. Hard to tell. Okay, a lot of more piglins are heading over this way. Attack in the masonry, which I do not appreciate. Took me a lot of work to get that, you know. But so far, none of the buildings look all that much scuffed up, which is really what we were hoping for. Plenty more piglins over here, though, causing more issues for us. 
And while they're fighting, I could also just, you know, run around. Go things myself. So they are sort of fighting. The piglins have sent reinforcements. Oh no. Uh, more reinforcements. I mean, that means it's a good opportunity to get some more uh, golems made. So if I could just, uh, even if it was just a couple more of these guys, and then maybe, okay, no, that's all I got for right now. So we're gonna send them over that way, and then fight this big guy if I can. There we go. <laughs> Gotta get him out of here. But we're already halfway through our time here. It was a six minute time, and we're three minutes in. There are big fights happening all over the place. I could get back over this way. You can see a lot of them are just standing around, even though I'd much rather they be fighting some piglins like that. So if I can get you guys. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this one's a bit damaged, isn't it? Such a shame. But uh, honestly, there's not too many piglins over here. They're sort of just, you know, running around. I don't want them to go too far out. If they can't even reach the village, then I think we're doing a good job. So if those guys are holding that point, so that really is what is supposed to be the right click move. Um, it looks like I do just need to keep some of them over here. So if I could just, little bits at a time, get some of them to set up over There's there. There's still more coming. All right, I'm doing what I can about them. Will they attack? They will. It would be nice to get some skeletons out, I think. I really can't spawn too many more in, though, is the problem. So, uh, even if I just get one skeleton, though, it might make a difference, so. I'll get that there. Two minutes remaining now, and there's a bigger horde coming in. I think I'm just gonna have them set up over here as those guys get closer. Here. We'll spawn in a skeleton. Okay. This ain't so good. But so far, you know, our main tower is at 100%. It's really good to see. And while I'm doing all that, is there anything more that still needs? This stuff doesn't have any healing protection, so doing that might be a good idea. A new wave of piglins is headed oh, no. your way. It looks like this tower is about to bust. Oh yeah, that tower just got knocked out, but they're so easy to build that I could probably just create another one really quickly. I'll make two more in its place. How do you feel about that, piglins? You knocked down one tower, I make two more. All right, let's see what we can do. I see a little bit more over this way. I see all these guys sort of just hanging out. So maybe I'll get them over there with less than a minute remaining now. We're holding on tight. I think there's definitely some more stuff I can do over here. So even if I just spawn in a few more, get all those guys, send them over for more of a fight. 30 seconds more or less remaining now. Trying to see you know, where the piglins are coming in from. I'm dealing with it any way I can. Yeah, look at our stone fortress here. Looking amazing, right? Ah, uh, oh, they were able to knock over some stuff. I do not want to stand for that. That's, I guess the guys with the bombs and stuff. Oh, they're hard to deal with. But with only a few more seconds left, I think we can hold it. I think we can do this. Let's send these guys over there. Okay. Uh. Only a few more seconds, and these piglins are done the for. There we go. Now it is time to remove the rest of the piglins. So whatever piglins are around, we just need to defeat, clear the area. I don't actually really see any piglins, oh, except for this guy. They destroyed some of my spawners, which is very unfortunate. But um, it looks like you know my teammates here are getting to work. If I could just you know help out with some of that, that'd be great. Oh man, a lot going on, but just a few more piglins defeated, and there we go. We success successfully defended a village. And they didn't even get to touch our tower or fountain. That's amazing. Really happy with the turn of the evasion sure. repelled. These villagers are safe again, at least for the time being. So with that, we can collect some additional rewards from chests. So let's definitely go and do that now. Right over here. What do we got inside of this one then? Ooh, 100 iron, 87 prismarine gets us back over 100. So I think we can celebrate with that by, of course, going to the Well of Fate and just sort of seeing whatever whatever other stuff we can get. So, here. Still can't do this one, but I can do collect power towers. Enables you to collect special host towers found throughout the world for gold and resource costs. We can do that one, or this one's a little too expensive, the expert carpentry and the expert mason. So I think we'll go with this one then. Um, I'll put it over that, so it's number six. 
and we'll just set it up somewhere. So we almost have all the upgrades, at least for the time being. I'm sure more will open up soon. But there Perfect. we go, fantastic. Now all the towers in the world are at your disposal. Remember, you'll need gold and a few other resources handy, so the LAs can build the towers for you when you need them. Okay, well, we've done exactly that so far. We're doing a great job through this game. We have saved all the different mob villages now, the skeletons, the creepers, and the zombies. So next episode, I think we can work on some other things. Like, there's some other go golems here. Like, this is the first of oak. Um, I definitely want to work on those kind of things. And then, of course, take on some of these larger scale things. I don't really know if we're strong enough to do it, but if I could, you know, take on the Horde of the Spore or something like that, that seems to be my next option, or these towers. Um, really don't know how it's gonna work, but this we'll figure it out as we go now. along. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. Me too, but we'll just continue to get stronger and stronger and better and better at the game over time. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Legends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.